Hi, Jessica again. I'm back uh, to, con to continue my updates. Um, uh, seems like the vast majority of them seem to be twiggling related because <laughs> that's who I've been working on most intensively. Uh, but so um, here is Alondria. She is my um, sleepy eyed uh, twiggling ingenue. Uh, and she is, um, on the new, uh, she has the newest body, I should say. Um, she is on the white skin body from, and head from the long pre-order. So, um, I waited probably, I didn't wait as some, as long as some people, cause I didn't get on the pre-order. The pre-order, the long pre-order was a year long pre-order that began, um, January 2015 and the idea was that everyone was supposed to have their dolls um, in December or January um, that didn't really happen the white skin dolls were the first dolls that were sent out um, from the long pre-order and I got her uh, I got mine in February so I and I got on the pre-order in in August, I waited about seven months is what I is what, what I waited, but um, I am still waiting for my tan Elbe that is from that long pre-order, January 2015. Um, how long has that been? <laughs> so uh, update wise, it does sound like those large dolls have finally made their way to Korea. Um, they're on their way to Haru Casting and should be, I think there were some customs problems, so Haru Casting doesn't actually have their hands on them, but they're in Korea. <laughs> so maybe I will have that doll before the end of the year. Um, but anyways, here we have Alondria and I wanted to um, show you this beautiful, beautiful wig. Uh, this is a uh, alpaca wig, white surrey alpaca fiber that is absolutely gorgeous. This, this wig is so thick and so luxurious and so long. I am just, oh, like it's, it's so, so soft. I, this is making me into a wig snob. <laughs> uh, between, between this wig and the one that I got from Tiffy BGD, BJD Crafts, um, her, uh, that's a, um, dyed human hair wig, uh, um, that it, it's just amazing. So this is a pack of fiber. I said, I'm starting to become uh, a real wig snob now. I'm being spoiled by this, but this wig was made by, um, Elo Dolly, I think is, is what she goes by. Um, I think that she has a shop. I'm not sure. I'll look that up and I'll put some links below um, so that, because I know that she does, she does do commissions. She makes wigs. Um, so this was a trade that I did with her. Um, that jacket that I showed um, Kian, my doll Pamela Ruby was wearing in the last video or a few videos back. Um, I did, and I sewed, um, one of the, a flat cap, an MSD sized flat cap. And so, uh, did some sewing for her and she made me this wig and she was so nice that she even took my special request. Um, and I wanted it to be, um, sewn. I, I, I really do prefer sewn wigs at this point instead of glue because of the, uh, you can wash them. Um, you don't have to worry about it just, they just, they're just sturdier. Um, so I'm really, <clears throat> I really prefer sewn wigs over glued. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> so she, she, uh, she sewed the wig. She used, um, latex for the cap, um, used a stretchy material and used latex, which is nice because it preserves the stretchiness of the material. Um, but gives it a little bit of form and, um, and kind of grips a little bit. Uh, she does have, I think I've got some sticky, maybe I don't, maybe I don't have anything. Um, usually with most of my wigs, whether they're real fiber or not, I usually have a, com a wig cap and some sticky tack and 
poster tack and I usually have a combination of things to keep wigs on dolls um, but I don't know I know I don't want to take it off and miss I think I do have some sticky tack because I have sticky tack to keep the the magnets on um, uh, for her horns which are Tiffy BJD craft horns um, but so she made this wig and um, it's I highly recommend <laughs> I highly recommend uh, it's it's gorgeous um, and this is not you know Alondria is not a small doll. She's, I don't know, she's probably pushing 70 centimeters. She's on the long, she has the long legs and the long torso. <clears throat> so, um, the dress that she's wearing is a dress that I, um, that I just made for her uh, a week or so ago. I can't remember. Um, and I'm not, mm, I don't, I'm not loving it. Uh, the back turned out really pretty. Um, I'll show... I, I'm really liking this close technique, closing, closure uh, technique. Um, so I really like how the back turned out. And, um, oops. So now <laughs> I need to restring her. Um, and her string is probably still good. I think she just needs to be tightened so I don't have to replace her string, but she does need to be restringed. She's, especially now after I was handling, um, my ingenuities it's I really notice how loose this girl is so I'm not uh, I love this this purple fabric um, and I paired it with this blue I had a little bit a little tiny bit of this blue left um, after I did that uh, commission for um, sugar sugary cupcake I think is her is her name because um, she just got her twiggling girl but I, I don't know. I, <clears throat> I'm not, I, I might just, I might replace this panel or do something different. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I, uh, I think maybe this is just too, too much. Um, so maybe, maybe putting a purple fabric here instead or a lighter purple lavender, something, something different. Um, I don't know. Uh, or just make another dress entirely I don't know but anyways uh, I do I do like I do like the light colors on her um, so and I want to make my girls different I love purple everybody ends up wearing purple and gold so um, my initial like I really wanted to do silver and whites and um, like snowy colors uh, for Alondria um, and wanted to stick stick to that um, maybe I'll put a few pictures of her previous deer form. I'll, I'll try to remember to stick some of those in here um, of, of her design when she was a deer because she is one of these characters that um, had a life as a deer before she was um, shelled into a human doll. Um, but, uh, I really, I really, uh, I'm happy with, like, how she's come together in a lot of ways. Um, really, really happy with her. Um, the shoes. So, she's shoeless right now, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with her shoe-wise. Uh, the, <clears throat> the shoes that I had on Anjani's in the last video, I made this dress <clears throat> with the idea that she was going to wear those shoes. And when I went to go, I finished the dress and put it on her, and, and then I went to put the shoes on her, and to my surprise, they did not fit her. Um, they're the, the beautiful Eiffel House purple uh, slippers, um, or heels, I should say. And uh, they are really snug and don't fit um, on Joanie's the best. But I, I, I do need to... Um, I, think, I think Angsty Penguin suggested like wetting them and then squishing them on <laughs> um so i may try that i have destroyed shoes before um <clears throat> the doll the doll she uh the doll she classic body and the Venito body have huge shoes and i have um destroyed a few shoes <laughs> with those with those big big feet that they have they have huge feet um but so i'm really i'm really happy with a lot of things but this dress needs some work. <laughs> 
Um, okay, let me move on. I'm going to set her down. I'll be right back. Okay, let's move on to these guys. This is the uh, the mini Gurla family. Um, so as, as you probably know, if you've been um, following me and my videos and my Instagram um, of late, that I am doing... <laughs> I'm doing crazy things as usual, but uh, so I have, I now have mini Herla and mini Gehern. Um, I have SD versions of them. Um, they're children, Elowen and Nila. Um, they, these, these two are, uh, Mishi's doll uh, is the, um, the company, they're artist dolls, but Mishi's doll Dreamy and Mishi's doll Hope. Um, so that's Neela and Elowen. But, uh, so I, I have been making progress with sewing. Um, so let me set this guy down and we'll look at Herla first. Let's see, will you stand next to your children here? He actually stands a lot better. If he's not wearing shoes, um, I can pretty much just like just plop him down and he stands. But the shoes, the shoes kind of mess things up. So he doesn't, he doesn't stand as well. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's go over her outfit. <laughs> so as you can see, um, this fabric is the same fabric that I made the pants for uh, ingenuities out of. Um, this is that, um, it's a, it's a burgundy velvet. Um, and Morgan sent this to me. She sent me these, um, uh, she went thrift shopping and sent me some pants, uh, two pairs of pants made out of uh, a green velvet and this burgundy velvet um, for sewing purposes. Uh, Morgan is Koi Sew Marionette, I think it's her username. I think it's the same on Flickr, I think, um, but she's on Instagram. Anyway, she's she's a doll. She has, uh, she's always just really thoughtful. Um, so anyways, uh, I made, I actually made these pants for Minnie Herla first out of this fabric um, and I <laughs> Okay, here I go. I'm like making everybody purple. <laughs> so, um, but I think I, I'm really happy with how they turned out. Uh, the, the butt fits the butt. <laughs> the butt is very nice and um, of course it passed the sitting test and so did the ones that I made for um, Anjanui's you know, no butt crack. Um, and I used, I did the same technique with the little hook in the front. So um, she's got some embellishments, um, a watch pocket. Um, there, I, I love pockets and maybe, maybe other people prefer smaller, less conspicuous pockets, but I always try to make the pockets, like I try to make them as big as possible. Cause I just, I love, I love the look of pockets. Um, and they're a pain in the butt to put in. Things are a lot simpler if you're not doing pockets, but I, I take every opportunity to, to add pockets. Um, so she is wearing, uh, I got, um, I showed these, I think a, a video back, uh, and you know what, I'll put a link to a post that I made, um, shoes that fit slim MSDs, so, uh, MSD lily cats, mini fees, um, I made a post, so I'll put a link to that, and it's, um, for the Moe line uh, and then for the A line, and I distinguish which ones fit fit which. Um, and but these these do fit Lily Cats and Mini Fees, uh, the A line body, um, but uh, they fit they fit Herla too. Um, they're very they're very snug. Um, they're a little bit loose on slim MMSDs like Lily Cats and um, Mini Fees. But so I ordered these blue the blue sparkly pair. Um, I also, I'm, I'm shoe crazy. Okay. <laughs> a pair of silver and a pair of black of the sparkly. Um, and, and then of course I have, this is from a different, 
this is from a different place, but these, um, they're, they're almost exactly the same. So I do think they might be made by the same people. Um, but these brown ones, and, and I have a pair of uh, plain black ones too. Um, so I'll put a link, I'll put a link below uh, so that you can find those same shoes if you want. Um, but so I made her uh, the t this top um, and this was very, very difficult. Uh, and I think I, it's not so much the sheer, I, I'm doing much better with the sheer, but this uh, satin, um, and it's a very, very wiggly satin, and I always have trouble when I, when I try to use it for sewing. And usually when I make this blouse, uh, like I did for Ingenuise, I, I put the closure in the back, uh, but I decided to do it in front, and I still haven't done it yet, but I want to put some, this is closed by snaps, but I wanted to put some decorative buttons in the front of this. Um, so I wanted it to look more like a, a like a, a blouse um, that you would um, button in front. So, uh, and she's she's actually she's wearing underneath this because it was so sheer. She's wearing um, this bra that go. I have a bra and panty set that Elo, mm -hmm. Elo Dolly made. So she's wearing that. Um, her eyes. This is not going. She's. This is not her color. <laughs> it is, they're beautiful though. They are uh, a pair of 10 millimeter Enzo eyes that I was able to snatch up um, from one of her recent releases. And they are um, five millimeter irises, which are perfect for her, absolutely perfect. I do have a pair of um, small iris 10 millimeter eyes that I ordered um, from Doll Bakery. Um, but who knows when I'll, when I'll get those. I'm excited. They're going to be absolutely gorgeous. But, uh, but the last, I think I waited six or seven months for my, my last doll bakery order. And I only ordered one pair of eyes at, at that time. And I kicked myself because it's such a long wait. They're very expensive. They're very expensive eyes, but she doesn't make very many. She doesn't have pre-orders very often. So, um, I splurge. So anyways, these are temporary, uh, but she needs eyes that are more, her eye color is supposed to be more of a magenta type of color, so maybe more like this top that she's wearing. Um, she's wearing these, I've had these for a while, uh, and I just recently discovered that they come from um, like Claire's Boutique or something. They're these, they're rings, I guess, for people are supposed to be meant as rings, but they make really great dolly bracelets. Um, so I'm really liking Mini Herla. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> uh, I do like I do like the MSD size. It's so much easier to fit them on the screen. <laughs> um, but so here is Mini Gehern. He is an Agati Alfar, uh, and loving this doll, this amazing poser. Um, he's beautiful. Uh, I, I love the body. So he uh, he's wearing a uh, out of character pair of eyes, um, but they were so pretty, and I I just wanted him to wear them for a while. Um, they are let me hide behind him here. They are green. Enzo eyes, um, and she she makes um, because she has an Agati uh, uh, Bessia who um, her Enzo eyes Etsy shop, but she has an Agati, and they take uh, eight millimeter eyes with two point five millimeter irises are just perfect for them, perfect because they have very small eyes. Um, so if you were to try to stick a pair of eight millimeter eyes, you know, acrylics or glass that you just, you know, got off of eBay or whatever, it, it, it just would not look right at all. Um, so th it really um, completes the look of these guys. It's, it, they're wonderful. Um, but anyways, uh, I showed you his pants and his, that I'd made him and his shoes, which are um, Fateo, Fateo. Um, but I made him a shirt that, that matches, and um, I'm still working on a pattern for a vest. 
and uh, and then once I get that worked out then I'm going to make um, a set for uh, Bessia's uh, Agati and then she is going to make me some eyes uh, so I'm really excited about that because I have been a big fan of Bessia's eyes for a couple almost a couple years now um, and she just makes little limited batches and um, doesn't usually take custom orders so I feel very lucky <laughs> to be able to get um, a custom order for her. It's very exciting. Very, very exciting. Um, so, yeah, so those are green. And I think I did show the red ones that he had, which are very, very character appropriate, but um, it's fun to to switch it up sometimes. And I wanted to show you um, the girls. The girls are... Can you stand here? He said he, he stands better barefoot. He doesn't stand as well in his shoes. Um, so I wanted to show you the girls. <laughs> they are looking really cute. Um, my little cuties. So they are wearing uh, Blythe corsets uh, that Rack Ryokin made. And I'm still very, very sad, by the way, that she has, um, cl uh, is closing up her corset shop. Um, really sad about that. Uh, I'm really happy that I bought as many, um, corsets from her as I have over the last few years. But, um, I mean, it was always kind of, I was like, you know, this isn't going to last forever. She's not going to be doing this forever. It's, um, you know, she's just a private person doing these and um like so I took advantage I t I, I tried to, to buy as many as as I could um anyway so here's Elowen and I wanted to show you how gorgeous she looks and these are these are the perfect color for her um so these are again Enzo eyes they're 10 millimeter with five millimeter irises gosh let's see if I can get that to that come in a little better um, but they're just really really perfect for her I did uh, one of the doll bakery eyes I ordered four pairs of doll bakery eyes um, and I ordered I think it's called the color frozen for her in 10 millimeter with small iris so we'll see when they when they get here I'll try them and see um, but these are pretty beautiful so she might be keeping these she might be keeping them. I think they're really nice. My little cutie. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to cut this off here and go on to another video um, for another 20-30 minutes of things that I have to update you guys on. So um, I will be back in a couple minutes. Bye.